And now, the general weather around Alaska. Hello, I'm meteorologist David Kramer with Alaska Weather. Thanks for joining for our public forecast segment for today. Starting off, we're going to talk a little bit about one of the biggest impacts that we have coming up this weekend. That is the remnants of what was Typhoon Halong. That is going to bring the potential for a record-breaking storm to a Gullivan and areas down through the west coast through the YK Delta area, especially along the coastline for that potentially record-setting coastal flooding. Areas south of the Bering Strait are anticipated to receive the brunt of the coastal flooding impacts, while areas to the north will still receive uh, some pretty severe impacts, but not quite as bad as what we expect south of the Bering Strait. For reference, areas from the eastern portions of Norton Sound down through the YK Delta coastlines, we do anticipate them to see coastal flooding raising above what we saw for Murbach and what we saw above uh, what was in August of 2024. So we're going to see some pretty substantial coastal flooding for those locations. Nome is going to see coastal flooding that will be just under what we saw in Murbach. And then areas north of the Bering Strait, especially in the Kotzebue Sound area and Chukchi Sea coastline, will see impacts for coastal flooding very similar to what we saw a couple days ago on October 8th. Halong is also going to bring some very strong winds to the west coast. Starting south and moving north, we're going to see in the Pribilof Islands gusts up to 85 miles per hour with 95 miles per hour possible. Kuskokwim Delta coastline, expect to see gusts up to 90 miles per hour. Hooper Bay could see winds up to 80 miles per hour. And there's going to be a block of 6 to 12 hours on Sunday where winds could approach up to as high as 100 miles per hour. St. Lawrence Island and the rest of the YK Delta coastline could see gusts up to 80 miles per hour and the southern Sioux Peninsula could see gusts up to 70 miles per hour. So when we look at our map that shows our watches, warnings, and advisories, we see a lot of uh, impacts along the west coast here, including the Pribilof Islands for high winds. We have high wind warning out for the Pribilof Islands starting Saturday evening, going through much of Sunday. That's going to be true for all these areas in the YK Delta area as well. Saturday evening is going to start to see impacts for coastal flooding and high winds. And we're going to see coastal flood warnings and high wind warnings up through the Seward Peninsula and the Kotzebue Sound area. We're going to see some coastal flood concerns up along the northwest coastline. Those are going to be a little bit later, starting more on Sunday, lasting through much of Monday. And then we're going to see, as we get into the western interior, up into the Brooks Range, high wind watches in those locations. And we also have some active weather right now in the interior. We have snow and blowing snow in the interior, as well as the central Brooks Range and up along the northeastern Arctic coastline. Taking a look at our satellite imagery, we can see one of the fronts bringing some moisture into the southwest portions of the state. But as we watch this again, we're going to focus a little bit farther south and we're just going to be able to see cloud cover from Halong moving towards uh, the Aleutian Islands. So as we look at our weather for tonight, we can see our one front right now extending from a low out over the western Bering Sea that's just going to kind of hunker down there for the next couple days. But that front is bringing in some rain and potentially even some snow in northern locations to the west coast. And we can see our frontal system from Halong starting to make its way towards the Aleutian Islands. Out over the rest of Alaska, we have high pressure out over the eastern portions that's bringing in some pretty decent weather for much of the mainland, some snow up in the eastern portions of the North Slope, and then down in the Panhandle area, expecting it to be pretty clear for tonight. As we move into Saturday, the high pressure is going to push off just a little bit to the east, but that's going to keep some pretty nice weather for the Panhandle and eastern portions of mainland Alaska. But our main focus shifts back to ex-Typhoon Halong as it starts to move into the southern Bering Sea here on Saturday. We're going to have a lot of strong winds with this for the eastern Aleutian Islands, Alaska Peninsula, and starting to bring in some rain to the southwest coastline as well. Then as we move into Sunday, quick moving storm. It was down here by the central Aleutians. 24 hours later, Sunday afternoon, it's already going to be up by the Bering Strait area, bringing in a lot of those strong winds to areas of the YK Delta, through the Kotzebue Sound area, a lot of rain with this as well. And our other low just stays hunkered down over the western Bering Sea. Looking out farther to the west, we're going to have some rain spread throughout much of south central, but not quite into the panhandle yet, staying pretty clear there on Sunday. However, as we get into Monday, finally rain returns to the panhandle, extending out over south central as well. And we can see where Halong has moved off to up along uh, the Arctic Ocean. It's going to bring in some continued concerns for coastal flooding along the uh, north slope areas and Chukchi Sea coastline. We're going to see a mix of rain and snow with that as well. 
As we move farther down the west coast, going to see more rain as we get by the YK Delta area. And our low that just continues to sit out over the western Bering, continuing to bring rain throughout the Aleutian Islands and Alaska Peninsula. Going to shift gears here back to the beginning of this storm where Halong first makes it into the southern Bering Sea. So this is Saturday afternoon time frame and we're going to really focus in on the strongest winds with this system. We can see winds already above 50 miles per hour moving through the Aleutian Islands, especially eastern Aleutians into the Alaska Peninsula as well. And we're going to see some of those stronger winds up by St. Paul. As we move into Sunday morning, uh, this is going to be where we start to see a lot of those stronger winds really starting to impact the Pribilof Islands. Uh, strongest winds again, we could see gusts up to 90 miles per hour for the Pribilof Islands up along the west coast and into the, or the Norton Sound area. We're going to start to see some of those moving in. And by the time we get to Saturday afternoon, we're seeing that strong core of winds bringing in those winds above uh, 70 and 80 miles per hour up through the Norton Sound area Sunday afternoon. Taking a look now at our temperatures, we're going to start off with the Aleutian Islands. Saturday morning low is going to drop down into the mid 40s. A uh, little bit warmer in southwest Alaska compared to the rest of mainland Alaska, only dropping down to near 40. Getting into the 20s as we get to the Arctic coastline and much of the interior. Some locations in the interior dropping down into the teens. Staying above freezing for south central in the mid 30s there. And then mid 30s to lower 40s for the panhandle. Saturday afternoon, getting up into the 50s for southern Panhandle, near 50 as we get farther to the north, near 50 degrees for much of south central, and the upper 30s to low 40s for much of the interior. Again, getting warmer as we get to southwest Alaska, where we're going to see temperatures getting up into the upper 40s, staying cold up along the north slope area, only getting up into the upper 20s to lower 30s. Then down in the Aleutian Islands, getting up to near 50 degrees for central and western Aleutians. But where we have a lot of the flow coming up from the south, going to get warmer for the eastern Aleutians and Alaska Peninsula up to the mid to upper 50s. Sunday morning lows dropping down into the 40s for the Aleutians and Alaska Peninsula. Mid 40s for southwest Alaska, getting colder as we get farther into the mainland. Up along the rest of the west coast, getting up into or getting down into the mid to lower 30s getting down into the lower 20s along the Arctic coastline. In the interior, going to see warmer temperatures out west, mid 30s there, dropping down to the mid 20s as we get farther to the east, dropping down into the upper 30s for most of south central, and then down in the Panhandle area, dropping down into the lower to upper 30s. As we get into Sunday afternoon, getting up into the 50s again for southern Panhandle, into the 40s for the upper Panhandle, upper 40s for much of south central, warmer as we get closer towards the Gulf, and then in the interior, once again, warmer out west near 50 there into the 40s as we get farther to the east. Up along the Arctic coastline, getting up into the mid to upper 30s, upper 40s to into the lower 50s along the west coast. And then near 50 degrees for much of the Aleutian Islands and Alaska Peninsula with 49 degrees for the Pribilofs. Alaska weather, I'm David Kramer. Thanks for watching.